we have this uh, table in SPSS program and we want to filter its uh, rows. For that we are going to data, uh, select cases. First option is all cases, that means no filtering. Uh, second option means that uh, by clicking on this button uh, we open a window where we can uh, type or create expression that will filter our data. For example, we can type gender equal to zero. Zero is for uh, males in this uh, column, but we can also uh, use uh, these other uh, buttons and panes. For example, uh, this is for end, and then we can choose some other column, for example, uh, this one, and then we can say that that column should be equal to uh, three, and we can use uh, one of uh, built-in functions, for example, absolute function, uh, absolute number of this uh, column is equal to uh, two. So now we have one uh, valid expression, and for creating that expression we can double click on one of uh, columns to get a column name. We can uh, click on these uh, buttons uh, to add numbers and uh, math uh, operators, and uh, here we can choose uh, one of uh, uh, available groups of functions. This helps us to uh, find our uh, function uh, more easily. And uh, when we select one of the functions, we are going to see its uh, syntax and description in this pane. And finally, at the end, we are going to uh, have uh, one uh, valid expression. I'm going to click on Continue and on uh, OK. And as we can see, uh, these uh, rows are selected, and these rows that are crossed out are unselected, and only selected rows will be used in uh, further calculation until we uh, change how our uh, filter works. Now, uh, next option is uh, to randomly select uh, some of the cases. Here we have uh, two uh, possibilities. Uh, first option is to select, for example, 10% of all cases. Continue. OK. And uh, only 10% uh, of cases will be randomly uh, selected, for example, cases 9, 12, and 20. And uh, this uh, value, 10%, is approximate. So that means that if we have uh, 100 uh, rows, and if we choose to uh, select only 10% of rows uh, randomly, we are going to get maybe 10 rows, maybe 9 rows, maybe 11 rows. So 10% is approximate uh, value. Uh, other uh, possibility is to uh, 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 choose, uh, for example, uh, 10 uh, rows from the first uh, 15 cases. Uh, if we click on continue and OK, from first uh, 15 cases, we see that uh, five uh, rows are crossed out. So that means that 10 rows is uh, selected uh, as we uh, ask uh, for. Uh, so that is a random selection of uh, rows. Now, beside that, we can uh, choose uh, one continuous uh, sequence of rows. So rows have uh, several numbers. And, for example, we want all rows uh, from row uh, 5 to case 13. For that, we click on this button range. All rows from 5 to 13. Continue. OK. And, as we can see, only uh, those uh, cases are selected. Last option will work only for a um, column that has uh, some rows empty. And so we are going to delete these, for example, three values. And we are going to use this column. So we go to data, select cases, use filter variable. Now variable will be this reside um, column. So that is this. And we are going to click on OK. And uh, what happened now is that all rows where this column is uh, empty will be unselected and only uh, rows where this column has values will be uh, selected. Now, besides just uh, marking our uh, unselected rows, we can do two more things. For that, we go to Data, Select Cases, and we have these three options. First option is uh, this, uh, what we already used. Now, we can also do the same thing, but not in this uh, dataset. I'm going to uh, choose first uh, all cases. Okay, so now everything is selected. 
and then I'm going to make another uh, filter that is going to use, for example, all uh, cases from first to tenth. Continue. But I'm going to select a creation of new data uh, set. I'm going to give it a new data set. And after clicking on OK, we are going to get another uh, SPSS window, Untitled 2. And uh, here we can see how our uh, filter works. But our first uh, window is still open. And in this first window, we have all our uh, cases uh, presented. And we can also delete uh, rows in this way. So we can select uh, this option 1 to 10. So let, let's first uh, select our, uh, our rows. So we selected first 10 rows. We can see that here. And then we're going to choose to delete all rows that are unselected. So all these rows will be uh, deleted. Okay. And yes, now we have only uh, first 10 rows. Now this operation is risky because now we cannot uh, 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 undo our action. If we click on a do button, we're going to get this message. So we should be really uh, careful when we uh, delete uh, rows in SPSS program.